thank you. Oh, thanks, guys. Thank you for coming to see me do this seven minutes and for sitting through the rest of the show. I really appreciate it. Um, so I don't have children, and uh, it's just something I never wanted. Um, I'm 41 years old, so I know that uh, I can't even change my mind if I wanted to. I think my ovaries are like uh, uh, sweaters that you put in a compression bag and put them under your bed in the summer. I don't know where they are, and they're probably filled with moths. So, um, <laughs> now I know you're probably thinking you look younger than 41. I do. Thank you. I am blessed. God loves me. But, um, but people always say the stupidest things to me. Good for you. You don't look 41. That means you can date younger guys. I don't want to date guys who have terrible towels. I don't want to date younger guys, right? And by the way, I, but I used to think that that was a good idea. Like, well, men do it all the time. Men in their 40s date women in their 20s. I should do that then. I'm a feminist. I can do what men do. But then I realized feminism isn't doing the stupid shit that men do, right? Uh, <laughs> if that was the case, I'd be peeing on my front lawn, starting a war. Um, <laughs> but. So people always react really weird to me when I say that I don't want kids, and I don't go around yelling I don't want kids except tonight, but otherwise, <laughs> it usually just comes up in casual conversation at a party. People say, do you, do you have kids? No. Do you want them? No. Hmm. You'll change your mind. That's rude. I didn't ask you what I was going to do with my mind, right? I don't, I don't go up to pregnant women and treat them that way. I don't say, six months along? Oh, great. And you wanted it? Hmm. You'll change your mind. You know, you've got to be careful if you're one of those women that chastises other women who don't want kids, right? It is a biological urge to have a child. And some of us, me specifically, I've never had the urge to ruin my life, right? So you just have to let it go. But people are worried about my future. Jen, who's going to take care of you when you're old if you don't have a kid? Hopefully servants. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> Why would I want my dumb kid to take care of me? I assume he would be a dumb or she. I have not seen proof of younger people getting smarter. I haven't. And so, uh, and what if I end up with some web designer or something? I'm going to need a kid that has a prescription pad, right? So, a lot of my friends have kids, and that's the toughest part, is that they want me to be in their children's lives. So, it's, it's, I might as well have had a kid because I'm with children all the time now. And my friends want me to be part of their lives. We want you to be Aunt Jen. Can I be friend Jen? No, we don't want to screw up our child. I go, I think, he, I think he'll be fine. Because I grew up in the 70s, and my mom's friends would come over. I wasn't friends with them. They came over smoking a cigarette, looking at me. Ash, the cigarette on my head. <laughs> What's she doing here? Oh, that's my daughter, Jen. Mm. She gonna be here all day? Yeah, she's three. She can't do for herself. Mm. <laughs> And then she would put a glass of wine on my head like I was a table. Because that's how adults should treat children that they don't know, right? <laughs> but my friend is taking a parenting class, which is so annoying to me. You don't need to take a parenting class. My friend is taking a class called How to Empower Your Toddler. It, it started at birth. First of all, my friend was taught that children come here with a personality all their own. And I absolutely believe that you develop a personality all of your own, but not on day one. Day one, you're just a beautiful little blob that came here from heaven, right? That's all you are. My friend's kid didn't have a personality. We didn't, you didn't. Why is her kid more special than us? But she said to me, Jen, when she was pregnant, I can't wait to meet my baby. I go, you're not picking it up at the airport. <laughs> And I don't mean to be rude. If you adopted, I know you did pick your kid up at the airport. <laughs> and that was a beautiful thing for you, I'm sure. But my friend was pregnant. Jen, I can't wait to meet my baby. You're not gonna meet him. It's not a cocktail party. He's not gonna wear a name tag. He's gonna rip through your body in a hospital. <laughs> He's not coming up to you at a little soiree going, hi. Mom, hi, it's me, um, Alessander. I, know, I don't know why you named me that. You're not even Polish or Russian. You're just some stupid white chick from California. But anyway, um, so nice to meet you, Mom. Um, sorry about all the blood and placenta. Just, <laughs> that's how I came here, I guess. Um, uh, can I get you a drink? Actually, they probably won't give me the drink because I'm too young and my hands haven't formed yet. But um, I hate to be a party pooper, literally. Uh, pooping my pants. Um, but uh, I just came from this warm place of blood and placenta and warmth in the womb, and now I'm at this party and I'm freaking out. But uh, anyway, nice to meet you, Mom. Thanks. If you could take me home as soon as possible. That didn't happen. 
So now my friend tells me she's taking a class called How to Empower Your Toddler, which you don't need to do. I've seen this group. They're out on the streets. They're crapping their pants. They're ruining restaurants. They have all the power, right? <laughs> but my friend says that you have to put your kids to bed a certain way so that they learn to make decisions for themselves. She says, if you let your kid cry it out at night, then that can be a little bit abusive. She said, that's child abuse if you let your kid cry when they're about two years old. I said, oh, this story is friend abuse, but keep going. So, um, <laughs> She said, no, no, I want to tell you about the class and how I learned to put my son to bed. I said, all right, all right. She goes, so anyway, I put Alessandra down last night and I went, oh my God. I am so sorry. I'm being such a bitch about this. I, I, how are you at dinner right now? You're so strong. Like, no, I am not judging. It's quality of life, not quantity. If he was sick and you had to bring him to the vet, I get it, I get it. She goes, Jen, I meant putting him to bed. That's what the grown-ups who have children call putting their child to bed. I go, <laughs> I go, you don't get to have language that already means something else. That means putting your cat to sleep when they're sick. That doesn't mean putting a kid to bed. Putting a kid to bed means putting a, you know, you don't say, we stabbed Johnny in the face last night. That means gave him a bath. Why don't you grow up, Jen? Couldn't even get through her damn story. I wasn't even listening. Because she starts saying other things to me. Jen, don't you want to come home at night after you've been on a long trip on the road and just have something waiting for you that needs you? I go, no. I can't even take it if my mail is piling up. I'm like, mommy can't look at you now. And I start smoking again. And I put an eye mask on and I have a drink. You know, it's overwhelming for me, right? <laughs> but she says things to me, Jen. I'm divorced as well. If you don't get married again, you don't have kids, you'll never know the love of a child. I go, well, I try to make her feel bad about her life. I go, yeah, well, if you don't get divorced, you'll never know what it's like to have sex with a 20-year-old drummer, right? <laughs> so, different lives. I know I'm a bad person. Here's the thing. I am a very honest person. Kids actually gravitate towards me, which freaks me out. I think they appreciate my honesty and my insight, but I don't think that's a good quality to have as a parent, you know? If I had a daughter and she was in the next room going, Mommy, there's a monster under my bed, I'd be like, yeah, of course there is. That's where they live. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Have a great week. Thanks. That was Jen Kirkman, ladies and gentlemen.